did I start drumming? I started playing drums. Uh, this is actually a hard question to answer because it was kind of weird for me to start playing drums. I was 14, so that's about 94. Um, didn't originally think I was going to be a drummer. I actually played guitar for a long time. I tried to be in a band with my friends and everybody played guitar, so I was like, I'll play drums. And that was, uh, you know, let's see, uh, almost 14 years ago right now. And look at where I am now, in front of a brick wall. <laughs> yeah, it's brought me a long way. I don't even know if I want to say this on camera. Now, I had a band with my two best friends called Splurge. And those are my two best friends from high school. High school, I'm still best friends with them right now. And um, didn't really go anywhere. We practiced every single week meticulously. And we played two shows in our entire three-year career. Um, let's see. Well, obviously, drumming has changed my life completely. Right now, we're doing this interview. I'm standing in Rhode Island. I'm from South Florida, so it's brought me everywhere around the world, actually. And, um, you know, it's just opened up my eyes to uh, so much that the world has to offer, not to mention the fact that I'm in a band and I'm getting to do my dream, something that so many people want to do, and unfortunately, a lot of people can't do. So it definitely changed my life. I mean, I definitely wouldn't be who I am today without drums and without drumming. So... Thank you, John. Um, biggest thing, I think, uh, probably two things. Number one, have patience. Drums definitely aren't easy. You can't just like learn them like you can riding a bike or something like that. Uh, second thing is uh, confidence. I think confidence is a huge thing that, again, you can't learn it overnight, but it's something that when you have confidence, it just really shows when you're playing. It's not a certain thing that it does to you or anything. It's just an overall deal. When you really have that confidence, I think that's when drummers start to understand that you you kind of run the band. And I'm not trying to sound conceited or anything, but obviously people move and, and bands play, you know, guitars play in time with the drums, and people sing in time with the drums, and kids dance in time with the drums. And if you don't have that confidence, people are going to be able to notice that. Your playing's going to be a little weak, or, you know, there's just going to be things about your drumming that just don't add up. So I think confidence is a very, very key thing, and it really just comes with time and experience. What's next for Newfound Glory? What isn't next for Newfound Glory? How about that? Um, I mean, we're standing here now 11 years after we started this band, and like I said, we've gone around the world a whole bunch. Uh, we're still going to new places. We're about to go to South America in a couple weeks for the first time. Just got back from uh, Southeast Asia, like Philippines, Singapore, places like that for the first time. Uh, not to mention us obviously going on tour in the U.S. and Europe and other places that we've been to before. We have a new record coming out, Epitaph Records, in February. It's a new label for us, but we're very excited about that. And, um, you know, just what's next for us is it just looks like there's no stop, and that's really what we want. Um, it's amazing for us to be here after 11 years, but hopefully we can get another 11 in, in there. So um, as long as we still have fans coming to the show, which it looks like we will, all is good.